Hello, welcome back to Recap Central. Today we'll be recapping a horror slash action film that centers around the 16th president hunting down vampires in the 1800s. Let's get started. Nancy and Thomas, Abraham Lincoln's parents, reside in Indiana in 1818 with their son, who works at a plantation owned by Jack Bartz. It is there that Lincoln meets and befriends a little African-American kid named William Johnson, and it is here that Lincoln intervenes when Johnson is beaten by a slaver. Thomas has been dismissed as a result of his son's conduct. That night, Lincoln witnesses Bart's break into his home and assault Nancy. He calls the police. It is the next day that she becomes unwell and dies. The news that Bart's poisoned Nancy reaches Lincoln through Thomas. Lincoln vows to get vengeance on Bart's nine years after the fact. Upon arriving at the docks, he assaults and is defeated by Bartz, who turns out to be a vampire. Fortunately, Lincoln is saved by Henry Sturgis before Bartz can finish him off. To prove that vampires exist, Sturgis offers to train Lincoln on how to become a vampire hunter. Lincoln agrees and, after a decade of preparation, travels to Springfield, Illinois, to take up his position. Lincoln learns from Sturgis during his training that vampires in America are descended from Adam, a vampire who lives on a plantation in New Orleans with his sister, the Doma. Abraham Lincoln becomes friends with merchant Joshua Speed and meets Mary Todd while in Springfield. Lincoln develops feelings for Mary, although Sturgis cautioned him not to get involved in any serious relationships. After tracking down and defeating Bart's, Lincoln is victorious. Bartz admits to Sturgis that he is also a vampire just before he passes away. In a confrontation with Sturgis, he confesses that he was assaulted and bitten by Adam some years ago. To cleanse Sturgis' soul of impurity, the vampire turned him into a vampire, therefore prohibiting him from hurting Adam or any other vampire, since only the living can kill the dead. Since then, Sturgis has been training vampire hunters in the hopes of eliminating Adam's threat. Lincoln is dissatisfied with the results of his mission and decides to terminate it. Nevertheless, Adam discovers their activities and kidnaps Johnson to trick Lincoln into falling into a trap at his property in the South Carolina countryside. In an attempt to enlist Lincoln, Adam reveals his ambitions to convert the United States into a country of the undead which Lincoln refuses to acknowledge. Lincoln and his companions can escape after being rescued by speed. Lincoln marries Mary Todd Lincoln and begins his political career by working for the abolition of slavery in Illinois. St. Germain tells Lincoln that the slave trade keeps vampires under check because vampires require humans as sustenance and that if Lincoln interferes with the slave trade, the vampires will retaliate against him. As President of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln and his wife Mary relocate to the White House, where they have a son named William Wallace Lincoln. It was his signature that sparked the American Civil War, which was to last for over a decade. Later, William gets bitten by Vidoma and dies as a result of the bites. Adam is persuaded to send his vampires to the battle lines by Confederate President Jefferson Davis. Condemning all silverware in the region, Lincoln orders that it be confiscated and melted down to make silver weapons. After assuming that Lincoln will take them to their deaths, Speed breaks down and warns the others that Lincoln will carry the silver by train. A train is attacked by Adam and Vidoma as it passes across a trestle, set on fire by Lincoln, Sturgis, and Johnson. Adam discovers that the train is only carrying pebbles during the struggle in which Speed is murdered. When Adam is lured into a trap, Lincoln explains that Speed's defection was an elaborate ploy. Lincoln stabs Adam in the chest with his watch, killing him, and the three of them manage to flee the train before it catches fire and the silver has been delivered to Gettysburg by Mary and her fellow ex-slaves, who did so via the Underground Railroad in the meanwhile. One last, huge attack by the now leaderless Confederate vampires is met with a resounding rebuff by the Union forces. The Union troops defeat the vampires and ultimately win the battle with their silver weapons, 
Sturgis informs Lincoln that the last vampires had departed the nation a few months later, on April 14, 1865. As Sturgis attempts to persuade Lincoln to let him transform Lincoln into a vampire so that he may become immortal and continue to battle vampires, he is unsuccessful. Later, Lincoln departs for a show and is assassinated the next night by John Wilkes Booth, a young man in a pub in Washington. D.C. is approached in the same way as Sturgis approached Abraham Lincoln 150 years ago. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the next recap, and if you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, or check out our other videos. Have a good day.